Percocet, Miley Percocet, Percocet, Miley Percocet, Represent, gotta represent. Hey friend, how did you get so good at playing the recorder? Because I know the physics behind it, and soon you will too. The sound produced by musical instruments is a longitudinal or compressional wave, meaning the wave's medium, in this case air, as demonstrated by the dots, compresses and expands in the same direction as the wave propagates or moves. String, wind, and brass instruments use standing waves. Standing waves occur when waves reach the end of the tube and are reflected back, interfering with itself constructively and destructively. This creates nodes, the points of the wave, that don't oscillate, and antinodes, the points that oscillate at the greatest amplitude. Standing waves are what allow us to hear sound. Now it's time for our viewers to make a prediction. If we double the length of the tube by covering more holes, will the frequency decrease by a factor of less than 2, decrease by a factor of 2, remain the same, Increase by a factor of less than 2, or increase by a factor of 2. Make your prediction now. This is the first note that you heard. And this is the note after we fill in all of the holes, effectively doubling the length of the wave. If you said the frequency decreases by a factor of 2, you are correct. According to the formula for the frequency of a wave in an open open tube, like the recorder, the frequency is equal to the harmonic number, or n, times the velocity divided by 2 times the length of the tube or pipe. Moreover, the formula of velocity equals wavelength times frequency also is useful in explaining what happens. The velocity remains constant as it is only dependent on the medium it's traveling through, the temperature, and the pressure. Here we have the fundamental frequency for the recorder. n equals 1 and the length of the tube is half the wavelength. This shows that if the length of the tube doubles, so will the wavelength, and since velocity is constant, frequency must be half. Here we have a drawing where the wavelength has gone through one complete cycle in the tube with a harmonic number of 2. In other words, the frequency is double the fundamental frequency. In this case, the wavelength is equal to the length of the tube. It is possible to change the harmonic frequency on many types of instruments. On the recorder, this includes blowing faster, more focused air. However, we kept the harmonic number constant when Jacob played the two notes. Once again, the correct answer is that the frequency decreases by a factor of 2. Here is an algebraic representation using the formula frequency equals the harmonic number times velocity divided by 2 times the length. As previously described, both the harmonic number and velocity remain constant. Thus, the frequency and length of the tube are inversely proportional. Therefore, if the length is doubled, as it was when Jacob covered all of the openings on the recorder, then the frequency is halved.